Hey guys, and welcome back to Nightcry. Uh, the game is currently paused, and uh, you may have noticed that we are in another chase scene. That is because I've reloaded the save because we missed a death. And that, my friends, is absolutely unacceptable. So what we could have done... Ooh, careful, love. Is we could have tried to hide in one of these large industrial briars which seems like a very poor place to hide anyway, if I'm being honest, because, you know, the big, the big see-through window and all. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure how that actually kills us so quick, to be honest. Um, we, we're just going to roll with it, literally. Uh, dead end. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure we could have just, like, kicked our way out of there or something. That didn't really have to be a dead end. Uh, kind of, kind of weak source, if you ask me, but funny nonetheless. Anyway, guys, I'll catch up with you once I have got rid of the scissor walker. Okay, so Scissor Walker has been uh, evaded once more. Let's have a little look in this room. The only things in the drawer are amenities provided for the guests. Okay, well, we do have a case here. The suitcase is locked and will not budge. Well, we actually need an item that is in that suitcase, but we can't get it yet. So let's go and find some things let's have a look around this is also the first video that i'm recording on my new monitor we've now upgraded we've got a nice corsair 1440p monitor so videos will now be in such resolution we are joining the i would say 21st century but 1440p is not exactly you know <laughs> joining the 21st century is it we will hopefully be going 4k next year and this new monitor that I bought will be downgraded to my secondary. And I'll get a Corsair 4K one. Green. Anyway, enough about that nonsense. We need to go back to the bar. So, come on, Monica. I also don't like the way this game, the way the point and click sort of movement works at all. It's, it's not great. Ooh. Hello there, buddy. His smartphone is parking, uh, poking out of his pocket. Maybe he was trying to call for help. Well, sounds like something that we could use. Ugh, by me. Won't turn on. It seems to be out of battery. Well, that's awfully convenient, isn't it? But we found a smartphone with a dead battery. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure we can do something with that. There are a few more items that we need to find before we uh, sort the phone out. We do need to go back into this area. This isn't exactly the place that we need. Okay. We do need to come in here, but not yet. There's another item we need. Oh, come on. Go through the, through the fucking hole. There we go. Controlling her is absolutely rage inducing it's so bad now when we're being chased there is actually a dash mechanic however we cannot use the dash mechanic uh <laughs> outside of the chase sequences which is infuriating okay so let's keep exploring if i was the beer bar where would i be Oh, Monica, you can actually move with a bit more purpose. Might not be so bad. That's the law. Oh, that's the other side. Or is that the law? That is the laundry. You don't need to go in there. We can go around by this um, serving cart, though. A serving cart. Somebody must have ordered room service. Yes, they did. Oh, well, no need to worry about that just yet. I'm sorry. 
I didn't mean to frighten uh, you. Uh, Are you all right? You look very pale. I, are you alive? What? <laughs> uh oh. Yep. <laughs> if we don't avoid that QZ in time, that happens. Sounds like a rather unpleasant death. I do wonder how much force would have to be exerted onto that cart to cause such a miserable end. But, you know. <laughs> Anywho, right. Let's load back up. I'm not sure where this is going to put us. Oh, God damn it. One second, guys. Okay, so we've got the phone back in hand. And now... Now we just need to get back to where we were. We actually do need to find the uh, cafe shop, which I am really struggling to find right about now. There was that little beer bar area um, because there's a very important item that we need to get. But that's okay. You know what? Let's go and what we're going to do we're going to go into one of these rooms 306 there we go that'd do it's some kind of light to search that room okay well maybe we can't go into 306 just yet then let's try 308 oh there's no sound effect for opening that door it would I guess they're purely optional so there is a phone charger Let's get our phone juiced up. Of course, I can charge that phone. Yep, we have next generation super fast charge technology. Battery fully charged. Are you sure that phone was uh, actually dead? Thank goodness, now I can use this phone. The name John Thompson is displayed on the startup screen. Okay, nothing out of the ordinary there. We now have the smartphone. Now we can save the game by docking it into a phone charger. Uh, and we can use the light, which is quite handy. Now there's a lot of these rooms um, that we can go into. There's like three or four of them. Uh, we don't actually need to go in them. There's nothing in them. So it's kind of pointless. Right, let's get out of here. So this, yeah, this door just does not appear to have any kind of working sound effect. That's fine. Anyway, we've saved the game now, so let... Oh, we can actually search this door, which glitches out. We actually see Monica's model through it. This is actually Monica's room. Uh, you might think that there's something in here, but sadly there isn't. There is a pepper spray. A spray can purchased from before the cruise is on the table. Oh yeah, I forgot I brought this can of pepper spray. Would this work on the monster? I don't know, maybe. Oh, hello, who is phoning? Seems a odd time to ring someone. Hello. Monica, is that you, Monica? Her eyelashes Jessica? bitched. Help me, a freakish monster is killing people. What should I do? It's okay, I've seen it too. You have to keep calm. Where are you now? Can you get help? Curious. Listen, we need to stay together. I'm coming up to your floor now. Oh, okay. I'll be waiting by the front desk. Right, okay, so we've got to go find our friend Jessica. No problem. I'm sure that is our next task. Hey, have we got anything in our luggage? This is your suitcase. If only I brought something that could be used against that monster. But you did. You brought the pepper spray. 
for reasons, I guess we cannot slip that into uh, any part of our person to take it with us, but whatever. I guess Monica, bless her, she's just not that bright. So, let's go back to the haunted shopping cart for now. I wonder if there's going to be other items and other things that we find in the game that are haunted. Probably. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to frighten uh, you. Uh, are you all right? You look very pale. Are, are you alive? What? <laughs> what? Right, well, we're gonna mash the shit out of this button. <laughs> so savage. Well, we survived, I suppose. Unfortunately, the same cannot be said for our friend here. Hey, I wonder if this is the key card for the staff. I would imagine so. A key card was lying on the serving cart. It must have fallen out of the crew member's pocket. Hey, there we go. We have key card. The dishes that were on the serving cart are scattered on the floor. <gasps> How did that happen? Those guts have come out of his mouth. Love it. You love to see it. Uh, I don't think we can search him again. It's too horrible to look at. <laughs> his guts. <laughs> you know what? That's a screenshot right there. Can we, can we look at it again? It's too horrible. That's probably the thumbnail for this video. Uh, okay. So here's the, this is what we need. Go into the shop. Because we need to rob the place. Go check out this cash register. There's a few things we can search here, but there's nothing of any value. Uh, and there's a couple of trigger points that will... Cause the scissor walker to come at us. The cash register has been left open. Uh huh. Looks like there's only a few quarters in the register. Well. Mm hmm. Come on. In your own time, whilst we're young. I'll take that. Yeah, so common theft isn't above Monica, but we need those because. We're now going to go get an item that is crucial to actually getting the good ending. You don't get this item, you won't know it now, but it's going to lock you into a game over situation where you'll have to restart and replay lots of the game. Kind of shitty, if you ask me. Anywho, but that's the theme in this game, by the way. Right, what have we got here? One of the fuses is broken. Maybe I can get the elevator moving by replacing this fuse. Yeah, that fuse is well and truly cracked. All right. Seems like we have an objective. We need to get the fuses working. This is the laundromat. There's nothing in there. Got a f Oh, hello. Hello, John, it's Angie. Are you, are you okay? Everybody is making a fuss here because the elevator stopped working. Um, hello, Monica says. Angie, who is this? Where's John? I, uh, picked up his phone. I thought to take it to the front desk, but the elevator isn't working. I see. Thanks for picking it up. That's my husband, John's smartphone. Is he on your floor? Uh, I'm not sure. He's dead. That's okay, dear. You wouldn't even recognize him. Uh, we can meet up at the front desk once the elevator is fixed. Yeah, I checked it out and it looked like one of the fuses has blown. Well, he could easily fix that with the tools he carries around with him. John's an electrician, so he always has his tools in his suitcase. Ah. I'll tell you what he looks like, so please find him and ask him to fix it for us. 
it will probably be faster than waiting for the crew. Right, I'll do that. Yeah, uh, only trouble is... He's dead. He's really dead. Let's go and grab the fuse, shall we? This was his room. Now, what we can do, whilst we're here, dock the phone. So we save the game. You can see there's, like, there's not a lot of things that you actually have to interact with to actually get through the story in this game, but everything you do is so incredibly slow. Like, this, oh, I can't use that here. Photo. The name John Thompson uh, is inscribed in the photo. It's the same as the name displayed on the smartphone. Uh-huh, so this is his room. Right, can we put the phone on the charger, please? There we go. Charges it right up. You would have thought she would wipe the blood off. Or but I guess, you know, given the circumstances, that's not exactly a pressing concern, is it? Now, uh, we need to use the smartphone. We need to have... Turn the light on or off. Oh, we don't... But if we go into SNS, which is the uh, snap and post social media, we can actually make a post. Post. Murder of Ord Oceanus. Help! But if we scroll through his uh, pictures here, I guess I'm out of luck today. My partner is still in bed. How long is she going to sleep? Uh, okay, and he's got some... Ah! The staff at the restaurant... And my partner celebrated my birthday. 03, 14. Hmm. And also, if we scroll through this, there's some pictures of actual people. These pictures of actual people uh, were Kickstarter backers. Which is curious. So let's try the suitcase. Want 03. Any clues for the passcode? Yet yeah, we know. Even doing this is painfully slow. And it was 03. Uh, Fourteen? Yep, 0314. This suitcase is empty, but <laughs> in the suitcase, there is a small box filled with parts for electrical appliances. I don't know why you take that on holiday with you, and I don't know why you specifically have a 24 amp fuse. And I don't know why it's exactly the same model uh, and, you know, type of fuse that this uh, elevator uses. But we're going to roll with it. We're going to take it. It's going to be a bit of a win for us. Okay, so we've got the fuse. Now we have those quarters as well. So we need to go back to the vending machine. In the vending machines, there is an item. That we need. Otherwise we're going to be locked into. Shitty ending. And it's kind of obscure. It's not. I suppose it's not that obscure really. I mean she mentioned she was thirsty earlier. And you can find quarters. So I suppose you put two and two together. And it seems pretty obvious. That you put the quarters in the vending machine. And get something. What do you get? Well. well, well. Oh hello. We've held. Hey John, how's your luxurious life aboard the cruiser? Cruiser. Uh, we're lost without you. Honestly, there aren't many electricians that could replace you and Monica. Hey, excuse me. Hmm? Oh, is this John's wife? No, but I need your help immediately. What? Who is this? Have I got the wrong number? Just listen. There's been a murder. Lots of people are being killed. I'm not sure what you're playing at, but if you've got John's phone, you should return it to him now. Wait, please, listen to me. Oh, nobody's going to listen, Monica, you crazy woman. People just think you're having a bit of a laugh. Right, so, we need to use this machine. Also, I think there's something else going on with this. Like, 
if you didn't interact with this earlier on in the game, as far as I know, you can't even do this. So if you accidentally skip that or didn't think to click on it, you already locked out the best ending. This game does that constantly. Well, that didn't sound like a can, did it? <gasps> a severed hand. It has a wedding ring. Yes, one of the most important items in the game. Yeah, you can really stiff yourself over. Anyway, now we've got that. Let's go to the staff elevator. Oh, I haven't had... Uh-oh. I haven't had this cutscene before. Right, that's not great. I'm guessing... Oh, we're actually running into this as a walker. Kind of difficult to tell where it's coming from. That's okay. We have a nice fire hydrant here. Come to mummy, you big ugly bastard. There we go. What do you think of that? Now, fuck off with you. Got no time for your silly games. Anyway, where were we? Now, let's continue looking for that elevator. Should be around here somewhere, I say, with utmost conviction. I mean, everything is somewhere, right? Ah, so it's around where this guy got murdered most horribly. But we got a laugh out of it, so it's fine. Uh, that's not the elevator. Interesting that the scissor walker turned up there. Very interesting because I didn't think it uh, randomly spawned. But maybe I'm wrong. No, we don't want to search the cart. Unless it's just not very uh, common that it spawns. Something like that, I guess. I'm not sure. One thing that does great, though, really great, is how freaking slow Monica is. I mean... Anyway, let's go and check the fuse box and swap the fuse over. Sounds like the whirring of a machine starting up. Huh? Okay. An elevator restricted to staff use. It's been a week since I boarded this ship. But I've never been here before. That's because it's the staff elevator, Monica. Right, let's get this door open. Head inside. Now. The lights go off, and there's a crazy old lady. Yes. Now, if we don't do anything, we get horribly murdered. <laughs> I like the way Monica's just like, uh, what? What? What's going on? I don't know how she gets horribly murdered. We don't get to see it, but she does. A murder most foul. That gives us another dead end. And now I need to load the game. Ah, oh, crap. If I click continue, where's it going to put us? How much more do I have to replay? Okay, that puts us here. We have everything we need to escape. All right, that's fine. I'll meet you guys back there. All right, once more we're feeling, huh? Hey, what's, what's going, going on? on? Right, well, we need to use the torch and slam the control panel. And then, as if by magic, She's gone. she is gone indeed. Huzzah. 
Okay, cool. Right, that gets us out of that nightmare. At least we're up to the next floor now. Got lots of blood. Generally not a good sign. A very long corridor. Okay, so back in the bar. Nope, we don't want to examine that. Shit. That's not good. Who is dead? Uh-oh. Looks like our old pal's back again. That's not great. Unfortunately, that summoned our old pal, Scissor Walker. Come on then, Mr. Tickles. Let's get out of it. Come on, Monica. That's it. And they're right off into the distance. Try not to slip on the blood, Monica. Come on. There we go. Keep moving. One foot in front of the other. And we're going to use a fire extinguisher to ice this fool. Piss off. Honestly. Go stick those scissors where the sun don't shine. Alright, now that's a uh, nasty bit of business is done. Let's go move this box out of the way. I think Mon Monica's got a little bit of strength to her. I wonder what happened to our friend. We haven't seen her, have we? Alright, so let's have a look. Some keys. Bunches of keys are hanging off the hooks on the wall. They must be the keys for this floor. I would imagine so, Monica. Found a item. E for the calf. Okay, not going to take any other keys. Several keys remain hanging on the wall. None of the labels help me figure out what room each key opens. Uh, I mean, the restaurant obviously opens the restaurant, Monica. Storeroom 3 obviously opens storeroom 3. And the same as storeroom 2. Is, okay, so she's proper dumb as well. Good. Well, let's have a little look in these lockers. See if we can find something interesting. Jessica. Hey, Jessica! Uh-oh. Okay. Uh I guess not as okay as she could be. Let's just say that. Right, let's get out of here. Run, Monica, run! Okay, now. We don't want to go down there because that's a dead end. Monica, can we turn around, please? Thank you. Okay, we need to get the hell out of Dodge. Can we hide here anywhere? Oh, we're running out of stamina. Is there anywhere to hide in here? Doesn't look like it. Yep, we've fallen over because we're out of stamina. Which is the style of the time. Right. Come on, Monica. Try and try and stay with us now. Okay. This is bad. This is really bad. I don't think we can actually permanently outrun this guy. Oh, he sounds like he's getting louder. Which is not really what we want. We want him to be getting further away. There doesn't appear to be many ways of defending yourself in this game either. Which is suboptimal. Right, have a breather, Monica. Your stamina takes a very, very long way, uh, long time to come back as well. I thought we could hide in here, but I guess not. Can we not hide 
Um, does the counter? No. Uh, this is bad, guys. This is really quite questionable. There's nothing in here we can defend ourselves with. Doesn't look like it. We may be in a situation where we're screwed. Uh, that's bad. Yep, we're fucked. <laughs> oh well. Um, hmm. Not really sure where we can hide here. Now, if we load the game, where does that put us? It's going to put us right at the beginning, isn't it? Right, well, or if we click continue, actually, it might put us closer where we need to be. Nope, that literally just puts us right back here. Well, that's a pain in the dick. We actually screwed ourselves over, over there pretty badly by accidentally clicking on that blood puddle because that got rid of our one defensive item that I think there is in this area, at least from what I've found anyway. So I'm going to leave this video here, guys. I hope you're enjoying it. Thank you very much for watching. When we come back, well, maybe not getting horribly murdered is in order. I lie, of course. <laughs> There's going to be lots of getting uh, Monica murdered before the night's out.